On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at some Profile carbon fiber wheels. These are the Profile 7858 carbon fiber road wheels. And in fact, uh, these wheels are a more deep dish style uh, setup and specifically designed in a way for an aero or a triathlon style bike. And one of the most notable things as you take a look at them, it's gonna be the part where the front and the rear wheel are of different depths. And that's because uh, Profile believes that the 58 millimeter depth of that front wheel is gonna give you enough of an aerodynamic advantage in the front. And then when you combine that with the 78 millimeter depth of the rear wheel, you're gonna end up with a real high performing wheel set that's gonna have plenty of drag reduction, but also not blow you around too much in the wind. Now we've seen that from a few different brands, but this is a relatively large difference between the two. But people used to do that with zips. They'd run what was called a 606 setup, which is where they'd have a 404 up front and an 808 in the rear. So two large differences to help with the handling of time trials or triathlons. So specifically on these wheels, there's a couple of things to mention. So as we look through at this carbon fiber rim, You'll notice that it is going to be a structural rim. The spoke nipples are actually on the outside, which is a good sign that uh, it's going to be a strong setup. And then you'll notice that the rim is drilled, which is going to make doing adjustments such as replacing a spoke or uh, adjusting the trueness of the wheel quite a bit better than some of the carbon rims uh, that actually have that whole spoke bead filled in. Now these rims are going to use what Profile Design is calling a high TG uh, resin and that resin should uh, be able to handle a little bit higher temperatures pretty well. Uh, the braking surface on this is actually fairly nicely machined like the look of it. You can feel the difference between where they've done some extra finishing on the braking surface compared to the rest of the paint on the rim. And then it's going to be coming through with some Sapium CX Ray spokes. Uh, radial on the non-drive, then you've got two cross on the drive here, but these are going to be lightweight spokes to what they're claiming is a extra stiff hub shell design. And that's interesting, I mean these are relatively uh, low flanged and reasonably narrow because definitely aero is the focus of this wheel set. So it's curious that they're uh, seeing that as an extra stiff setup, but I can certainly imagine that when laced up with those Sapium CX rays and then the front being all radial laced, stiffness is probably not going to be a problem with these wheels. Now a couple of measurements to talk about. So the external width of the rim is actually going to come in at 24 and a half millimeters wide. The internal width is a little bit narrow uh, at 17 millimeters, but uh, it's right in line with the expected tire size that you might imagine on a wheel like this going on a triathlon bike. Certainly not as wide as say a gravel bike or anything like that. And then the neat thing with these is definitely going to be the hub bearings are all going to run 6901 bearings, which is going to make it easy to stock replacement parts. The wheel set actually does come with spare spokes, so in case you need them, it's going to come with it. Now if we look in the packaging that's going to come, uh, come with this wheel set, of course you're going to get uh, those spokes that we just talked about, which is a nice thing to have. And then on the inside here, you're also going to get a set of their own skewers. And these are fairly basic skewers, but nice enough. You know, a quick release style skewer. It's going to come, of course, with rim strip. Uh, so you've got the rim strips to get these guys set up. And then finally, it's also going to come with a set of brake pads for the front and the rear. Uh, these are fairly standard, just profile design carbon brake pads. But of course, it's really important to run the proper brake pads with your setup. Now, you do have the three different spoke lengths, 235, 252, and 242. And uh, the 252 is going to be for the front wheels, and then the 235 is going to be your non-drive side, and 242 your drive side. So now that we've taken a look at some of the specs on these wheels, let's go ahead and place them on a scale and we'll see what they weigh in at. So we'll go ahead and start with the front wheel, which is going to come right onto our scale here at 779 grams, so fairly light. We'll pull our rear wheel, which is going to come in at 1,035 grams. And then finally, we've got our skewers, 
at 95 grams. So thanks for watching this video on the Profile Design 7858 24ii carbon clincher wheels. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as leave a thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video.